Hi guys, Andy here and this is how to play the fantastic song uh, Redemption Song by Bob Marley. Uh, we're going to learn the intro part that I just demoed there but we'll also cover all the chords to the full song and the strumming and we're going to have a play along, sing along uh, together at the end of this video. So please stick around for that. Quick links are in the description if you want to skip ahead or back to any one of those sections and the full chord sheet and tab is on the website at andyguitar.co.uk. The link is in the description and on the screen in the top corner there. Let's get you straight in for a close up guys. Here's Redemption Song. So here's the melody that we're going to learn. Redemption Song, the intro. So we begin on a G note, which is the middle finger on the third, on the thickest E string, the same as a normal G chord. There's a pause and we go open to second fret on the fifth string. Now ideally we want that note to be really short, so we're going to relax our first finger like that. Just relax your finger and the note will stop and we go back to the thickest D string the first note again. One, two, three, four. Nothing too tricky there, but we have a new technique now. Uh, one that I haven't covered too much on my channel. It's called a hammer-on. We pick um, the second fret of the fifth string, first finger, and then we hammer on the middle finger. So we literally slam down this middle finger at third fret. Pick, hammer. Straight after it as well. It wants to be really, really quickly. So as a recap to where that falls, it is straight after, pick the first finger and hammer down the middle. And it wants to sound like it's been picked, but it happens straight after, almost like a little flick. And then we have the same technique, but it's open for open string four, and then we hammer on the first finger at the second fret. Let's have a look at this from a slightly different angle. Pick, hammer. And then to the open string, and then second fret of the fifth string, and that's the end of the first line, the first section, or the first half of this riff. Play it together in two, three, four. That's really important. We get a really clear hammer on here, which is where we need a little bit of strength in, in your fingers. Uh, first finger picks down, and then you really kind of hit on this middle finger here. Certainly the tougher one of the two, but it is straight after it as a reaction. As soon as you picked, you want to hammer it down so it is a little easier than it otherwise would be. Same with the open string. Open, hammer. And if you pick and then hammer on, they want to sound the same level of volume. They want to sound like both of them were picked, but we hammer it down and it is very quick and stay on the tips of your fingers like this. So recap through this riff in two, three, four. One more time, three, four. And then we have the second half, which is very similar, but uh, a little bit different. That was same first three notes, but open D string after that. And then back to the note we've just come from. Two, three with your middle finger. Two, open, zero. 
And this is based on the G major scale, which would be three, open two, three, open two, and then four open to do the full scale. If you want to learn this scale, click in the link in the description where I show you that G major scale, and that will really help you get the fundamental techniques that we're looking at here. I also talk about hammer-ons and flick-offs in that video in the description. But let's learn this little line while we're here. It was... One more time, so middle finger, open second, open D, that one. Two, all on the A string now, two, three, two, open, three. Okay, if we put those two together, let's have a playthrough together. From the top in two, three, four. Hammer on, hammer on, open. Second half that we've just learnt. And again, exactly the same, two, three, four. Now the second time that it plays through this riff, there's one note missed out. When we play that second part of it, the second bar, that one, that one is not heard. It's, it's not played the second time through. So the second time through would be... Very subtle difference, but if you listen to the original record by Bob Marley, that version, it misses out that one note. So now let's have a final playthrough, and remember the whole tab for this is available in the website. Um, it would be embedded underneath this video on the website, so it's absolutely perfect for learning from. Um, let's give it a go in two, three. And again, but we're missing out that one note, three, four. And that's it, that's the intro to Redemption Song. Fairly straightforward, and we have some pretty straightforward chords here as well. We have, uh, for the verse, we have a verse and a chorus, that's the only structure in this song. Uh, standard G major chord, let's play it with three fingers, so one, two, three. And uh, then we go to an E minor. Now we're just going to strum kind of each chord once so that we get the order of everything and how it works with the words. So if we think about it with the lyrics, everything would be a, a bar, mainly a bar for each chord, but we've got some embellishments that makes it a bit trickier. So let me talk you through all the chords first of all, starting with a G chord. Old pirates, yes, E minor on Rob I, okay, and then a C chord. Sailed I to the merchant ships. Now that was a G to G slash B. Now that was a G to a C slash B played like this. It's kind of like the A minor 7, but move your middle finger up one. And then to a normal A minor. That one more time. C. C slash B, which is your middle finger up one just two fingers down, and then to A minor. And the C and the C slash B were quicker, they were just for two beats, everything else for a bar. All of that again, because it's a really similar section after that. Old pirates, yes they rob I. A C, C slash B, A minor. And then it's very similar again, um, but we finish on the D chord. C, 
um, straight to a D. It's just a bar of each this time. The second part of this verse is almost exactly the same. It just finishes on a D chord rather than finishing on the A minor this time. So, minutes after they took I, E minor, a C from the bottomless pit would be a D chord. So almost the same, just that slight change of chord there. Let's go from the top again. Three, four, pirates, yes, they rob I. C, C slash B, A minor, G chord. Minutes after they took I, C, C slash B and D. And then it would be exactly the same thing again. So now we've worked through the order of the chords, let's put a strumming pattern to it, which we would need down, down, up, up, down. The most common strumming pattern ever. If you followed my channel at all, you'll have covered this one. Down, down, up, up, down, down. That strumming pattern lasts for one bar, so we do that for each chord. Apart from the C to C slash B, which we just do on the beat. So just one, two, three, four, and then A minor, down, down, up, up, down. And then the second part of the verse. Minutes after they took I C down, 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 D And that's the whole verse. Let's have a little playthrough now from a G chord. If you need help with that strumming, the link is in the description to this strumming pattern where you can work on this just on its own. But let's give this verse a go, presuming we can have a go. In two, three, old pirates, yes, E minor. Down, up, up, down on the beat, C, C slash B, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, up, C, C, B, and D, same again, but my hand was made strong by the hand of the Almighty. We forward in this generation Triumphantly Now here we're going to the chorus Won't you help to Notice we stayed on the D for two bars So that last word was Triumphantly And then again Won't you help to sing Okay, and that's where we went for the, the normal G chord again. In the chorus, you have an easier option. You could use the G with four fingers and go to a C add nine to a D major, which makes the changes much easier. G, C add nine to a D major standard. The way it's written and the way it's played on the original, standard G, just three fingers, to a full C, straight to a D. And that's the way I would encourage you to have a go at this, but you've always got the C add 9 as an option. This would go, Won't you help to sing These songs of freedom Cause all I ever had Redemption songs So essentially, a bar of G with down, down, up, up, down, two beats of C, two beats of D. That happens uh, four times, but on the third time, it's an E minor rather than a G. Let's have a play through that now. Again, chord sequence is on the website embedded underneath this video. So if you want to look at the chord sequence as I'm playing this and demoing it, you can watch the video and have the chords underneath it on the website. Link is in the description. In the, from the chorus, two, three, four, sing. C, down, down, D, D, G, down, up, up, down. All I ever, E minor, down, down, up, up, down. Redemption, G. 
And that's where we would have the second verse. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. And we go back into that verse one. Let's have one more play through the chorus and then we'll have a full play through where we do the intro, verse and the chorus. So you can play along with me and then play it yourselves. Won't you help to sing down, up, up, down, see these songs of freedom. Cause all I ever e minor. See, see, redemption songs. And then we'd be back on a verse. Perfect, let's have a go at this one from the very top. So we do the intro riff and then verse and we'll do the chorus. So uh, that's all the sections. Let's go from there. From the intro, middle finger in one, two, three, four. Same, but without that one note. Three, four. Verse. Old pirates, yes, they rob I. Sold I to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I From the bottomless D chord From a, there again My hand was made strong By the hand of the Almighty We forward in this generation Triumphantly Chorus down the D though won't you help to sing C and a D These songs of freedom Is all I ever have Redemption songs Let's go for the second verse as well Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book Chorus, chorus Won't you help to sing These songs of freedom Cause all I ever had Redemption songs Chorus again Won't you help to sing Songs of freedom is all I ever had. Redemption songs last time. Redemption songs. And that's how to play a Redemption Song by Bob Marley. Give yourself a big hand there, that was really good. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks for checking out this free guitar lesson. Please subscribe if you like what I do. Click that big red button. It really helps to support the channel. Click over here to see similar songs using, you know, a bit of a melody and then some strumming at around a similar level. And click over that side to check out my free beginners course here on YouTube and also available at andyguitar.co.uk. Uh, taking you from absolute beginner up to a little bit past this level. This is around about level five, level six of that course. So if you want to take your playing up a level, check out that free course there. Thank you so much for your support, guys. I will see you in another one of my videos. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.